as we arrived at uh, uh, the main airfield of John Rogers Field in, uh, in Oahu, about 20 feet over the runway as we were coming in, an outboard engine died and we dropped 20 feet. Well, uh, the B-24M had a flux gate compass mounted out in the outer portion of the wing. And unbeknownst to me, that flat gate compass had been jarred 16 degrees out of uh, true north. So when we took off the next day to go to Johnson Island, the first leg of the overseas trip, I didn't even look at the compass. Uh, the uh, radio operator, Chuck Williams, a full blood Cherokee engine from <laughs> Oklahoma, said, let me do the navigation uh, with the radio compass. So I gave him a heading and he took us from Oahu down to Johnson Island. And I never looked at the compass the whole time we were there. So we landed at Johnson Island, spent the night, refueled, and started out the next day. Well, when noon came the next day, uh, I had never done what they call a noonday fix, where you take a reading of the sun uh, 30 minutes before high noon, at high noon, and then 30 minutes after high noon, plot those, well, wind, but, uh, plot those line of position and uh, where they intersect is your true position. And it showed me 130 miles north of port. I thought, well, something went wrong, but I don't know what it was. I just correct uh, for that 130-mile uh, area and head on into uh, Quadrilane. So when we got pretty close to Quadrilane, I asked the radar operator to go to the dome, and uh, he cranked her down. He said, there it is, all 100 miles up ahead. So I said, okay, you can cut down, we can find it uh, around 12,000 feet because it was cool at that altitude. So we started down, and when we saw the atoll, there were planes along, all over on, on the airstrip. And I looked a little closer, and there were big red dots. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we, I had been briefed that that was Bochy Atoll, and it was 130 miles north of Plunderland. So, <laughs> Full throttle and out of there, <laughs> and straight in, straight into Quadrilane. Well, the, the crew, would, it's all the navigator's fault. We were all, of course, the navigator was wrong. So it took me a good 30 minutes to convince the crew that it wasn't me, there was something wrong somewhere. And I said, well, obviously, the compass reading is wrong. I will use the astro compass. June in and no, we're going to stay and get a couple of six. I said, trust me, the astro compass does not lie. It will take us straight to Guam. And sure enough, I set the astro compass up and we used the astro compass going into Guam. And fortunately, I hit Guam exactly on my ETA. <laughs> so the crew didn't believe in me. You know, I had established my, my position with the crew. Never had any trouble with the but when we swung the aircraft after we got on the map, we did find that it was 16 degrees off of the two north, and that flux came up 